it's morning on a Tuesday. Kepler is really going to town on that scratching post. Kepler is so excited that it's a Tuesday. And? And also we have Brandon here. Do you need this? Yes. Brandon is here um, to, um, I mean, ultimately, I think, talk about some personal experiences that he... <laughs> out of spite. <laughs> <laughs> he's here out of spite. I think he's ultimately here to talk about some personal experiences, um, and I can't wait. Good morning. <laughs> it is a good morning. For some of us, it is. It's a good. It's a good morning. It's a great morning. It's always a good morning. The morning after you filled your gut with Golden Corral. Yeah. <laughs> Alex, they didn't even have a chocolate fountain. <laughs> Someone woke up on the wrong side of the car. <laughs> Megabot. So, um, we have a lot to get into. But we're in the middle of a high P train, so I'm going to read some <laughs> alerts. And we can just let the, um, the anger fester for a little bit. Yeah. We got 37 months from Kayla Crisp 88 Sage of Stars gifted five subs to Wolfie on 98. Hypercall 64, Robolane, Starlone, uh, Gunner, and Deleg Zero, Sage of Stars. Thank you. Appreciate that. Lost Vagabond resubscribed for 33 months. Darkness Bride at 51. Candy Lou B at 9. We got 59 months of Tier 2 from Kaylin Lux. Gold Toast Kaylin, thank you. 33 from Tokenoot. 9 from Brina BX. We got 25 months from Haley May 88. 49 from Vinny G Plays. 47 from Melzy D. Uh, three and a bits from Brina says, uh, after finally going. I'm finally going to DC after years of hoping to. Anything you really loved there, especially food related. I mean, there's some obvious stuff, right? Not food related. What is this? He's trying to sit and he's doing his best. The um, the American History Museum is my favorite thing in DC. Is that what it's called? The one where the, the Smithsonian? Smithsonian? Yeah. The American, but the American History Muse Museum Smithsonian. Specific. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The one where you can see, like, Archie Bunker's chair. That's not specifically why I liked the museum. That's just an example of the things that you can hope to find in the museum. And it's, um... It's, it's good. It's good. I like that. It sounds all like a, it would be a great place to bring someone for their birthday. Yeah. So we hope you enjoyed DC. <laughs> I wish I could make a food recommendation, but I don't remember anything about eating in DC. I don't remember either. I remember that we had a, a, a sushi burrito and I was like, this is neat. But I don't have any, I've only been to DC like once in recent years. So it's been a bit. Anyway, I hope you have fun. There's a t there's a ton to do just going to like all the museums, and they're all very much worthwhile. Yes. So I hope you enjoy them. We got 31 months from Never Challenge the chat. Wouldn't dream of it. 24 months from Axis Save a Lie. Congrats on the two. We got 21 months from Mickey 3435. Uh, nine months from Aaron the Baron. Three to bits from Line Rider says this month has changed my life. My childhood cat died last week. I started a video editing side gig, and I'm starting a full time job at school in a couple of weeks. Vibes. Good yeah, vibes. good vibes. That is that is that is life changing. Um, having a childhood pet pass away is a very difficult experience. So good vibes just for that alone. Uh, but then also starting a full time job at school is going to be huge too. So there's a lot of things that are changing. I wish you well, Line Rider. I really do. Uh, we also had Kimberly gifting a sub to Golden Corral. dichotomy of man. Uh, as, a, as a fun reminder, because this is only something I like remembered yesterday, um, we did a we did a 10 hour live stream two years ago and created a video game. And the video game 
takes place in a golden corral. That's it's differently now. That contribution, by the way, courtesy of Haley, the very on that stream, the very first suggestion that we got was from Haley, and it was like Golden Corral. So it takes place in a Golden Corral. It's available on Itchio. If you if you Google like Itchio Stephen George, you might be able to find. It. It's called Secret of the Corral. Anyway, that will not help explain anything that happens in today's stream. Chaz has got the link, but it's fun. You can speed run it. There's a speed run mode because for some reason. <laughs> Thank you, Haley. Uh, okay, so fun fact. A um, <laughs> few quick things. Um, for uh, first thing, Mal and I actually uh, celebrated our 12-year wedding anniversary. Mm -hmm. That was on Sunday. That was fun. We didn't actually celebrate it. No, that wasn't for us. But that's when it happened. But that's when it happened. That's the date. We're going to be celebrating it later this week. We have there's a lot of there's a lot of things going on that we've been like moving some stuff around on the schedule. So instead, Sunday is is when we chose to celebrate Brandon's real birthday. <laughs> yeah. In that in that Brandon got to choose the place that Brandon went. And we went to a, a Brandon restaurant <laughs> where they had Brandon food and um, Brandon drink. And Do we you want to describe it in any greater detail? <laughs> <laughs> we went. We went. We went downtown. It was. It was a cool place. Mm -hmm. We went downtown to a tapas bar, tapas restaurant, and wine bar. Yes. And it was cool. It was a cool. Yeah, it was great. It was it was a really cool place. It was um, Catalonian Spanish food, so proper tapas. The food was the food was the very food was very, very good. good. It was sublime. It was great. The food was very very good. Um, that's what Brandon wanted to do. Everyone that was in town, which was our normal crew except Josh, because Josh has been out of town, um, went and it was fun. And then also we had plans already made for that day to see the Barbie movie. So we were actually all dressed in pink. I posted a photo, and I, I'm, I don't ever warn the mods I'm doing this. I posted a photo, I think, in George videos. Yes. Mm -hmm. If you can find it, you can show it. But it's, uh, it's a photo of all six of us, and we're all wearing um, pink. It was a very fun experience uh, getting to get all dressed up. And Chill Days was concerned in the chat There's because... There, there we are. Yeah. Because... We went to a tapas restaurant with Steven, right? Yeah. But don't worry, because the theater that we saw the Barbie movie at was Alamo, which has a full restaurant menu. It's true. When, like, I didn't know... I, so I knew that we were going to Alamo to see the movie, and then we more or less, like, added on the restaurant as a, as a pre-thing. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, it doesn't really matter where we end up going because like there the alamo will have a food mm -hmm. so that worked out great and i still got to eat all the different things at the tapas plate it was great yeah the so that was my real birthday <laughs> bacon wrapped dates is that what i had there were, there bacon, were wrap back, bacon wrapped yeah. dates yeah those were really good those were delicious there was a, really there good. was I a liked, really spicy pork belly dish i liked the ham and cheese croquette Anyway, so we went. We went to the th and I. And I know that we showed the photo. The only pink shirt I own is my bad man shirt. Yes. We walked into the restaurant and the uh, host. Yeah, I think, I think it was the host came up next to me and he was like, "Hey, hey, I love your shirt." And I was like, "Thanks." He's like, "Vegeta." And I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> so that was fun. Then we ate. Then we went to Alamo mm -hmm. and uh, I ate again. We did some other stuff before Tapas. Oh, yeah. Actually, so, yeah, that doesn't have anything to do with... Well, no, this has something to do with Brandon. Yeah, Brandon, that's what he wanted to yeah, do. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you, you... Sorry, I was asleep. <laughs> you were. Haley and I and Brandon went... Um, we decided we wanted to try taking the train into town, so we went to the train station and got tickets and had a drink nearby and then took the train, which was yep. great. Mm -hmm. And... um. 
Then we got downtown early and we went to a pool hall and played pool. Yeah, so Mal, Mal, Haley, and Brandon hung out at the beginning of the day. I did a combination of working and napping. And then me and Dan and Alex met up for dinner and the movie. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't... I haven't looked at that footage yet, so <laughs> my brain has not registered that that Haley existed. Haley says, Brandon, Mal, and I killed it at pool, yeah. Yeah, Brandon definitely tried to... <laughs> yeah, how did that go? There was one really good shot where the, the cue ball went off the table. Yeah, I may have jump shot the cue ball off the table, but only one time. That's fine. That's just part of playing billiards, I think. Only it one person normal. was in mortal danger, Haley. Come on. This seems fine. That's like a normal amount. Yeah. Um, oh, oh, oh sorry, sorry, Mr. Deathkill says, oh, billiards, not swimming. <laughs> <laughs> Three of them went to the pool. Someone almost, almost died. Yeah. Um, Can I have because that? they were hit by a pool cue. I have this. Here you go. You're welcome. Thank you. Is there anything else that you did uh, downtown? That was as far was... as we got. And then we went to the restaurant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And ate, went to the movie, saw the movie, and then uh, went home. It was a late, it was a late showing, mm -hmm. so we got home pretty late. Yeah. Um, but that was that was real birthday. That was like that was a wonderful day. That was a that wonderful was a, day. That was a really good day. Sorry, that was one of two wonderful days. It's one of two. Yeah. So. So that was Sunday, and that's what Brandon wanted to do for Brandon's birthday. But no one really asked us what we wanted to do for Brandon's birthday. And we decided that we would take Brandon to Golden Corral. Because Brandon's never been to Golden Corral. And if you've watched Breakfast Stream over the past year or so, you're probably familiar with the idea of, like, we should take Brandon to Golden Corral. So we did. We sure did. We went to Golden Corral. And it was a fun experience because, no, <laughs> because none of us, <laughs> none of us had been to Golden Corral or a buffet in like a long time. Yeah, and Brandon had never been to the Golden Corral. We have to back up and talk about the car ride there. I rode in the car with Alex and Haley, and it was about a twenty-plus minute drive, so we had a lot of time to kill. So Haley proceeded to read every positive review for the Golden Corral. <laughs> Which really, really set my expectations high. I was like, wait, maybe this will be a good Golden Corral. Everyone was talking about how clean the, f the place was, how fresh the food was. Someone had the audacity to say, I've been to steakhouses all across the United States and in Europe, and the steak here was better than any of those high-end steakhouses I've ever been to. Alex says, Golden Corral is the perfect place to eat after your brother's <laughs> funeral. There that were... was a very real review. Yeah. That was, they, they, they gave it five out of five stars, and they said it was the perfect ambiance for after their brother died. So, coming into this Golden Corral parking lot, my expectations were here. I was like, most Golden Corrals are bad, but maybe we have the good one. Maybe. It started nearby. Yeah, Golden Crow actually got was, a start like yeah, somewhere yeah, yeah. near Raleigh or something. Anyway, um, yeah, we we had we, there was there was some discussion about you know maybe that this would be. There was good. just a post on the Raleigh subreddit about buffets, <laughs> and people were like Golden Corral. So, we arrived, and. Um, we went up to the front, and the, the the lady said, you know, what would you like to drink? And my thought was, there's a chance that some of this food may not be very good. You're taking a risk on a buffet. You just are. When you've got 100, 200 plus menu items, like, there's a chance that some of it's going to be bad. So I was like, well, what I'll do is I'll have a Coke. Because if I get a Coke, then I'll be able to, like, mask anything. So I asked for Coke, and she said, a Coke? And I said, yes. And she said, and you'll have a water. And asked Brandon, and you have a water? And she goes, okay, three waters. And I just watched that happen, and I was like, <laughs> and so it begins. <laughs> so we took our waters uh, and, <laughs> and went and sat down. 
and uh, tried to decide where to begin. Um, and I think we all had very different strategies. Can for... we talk about my the... strategy was to eat the least amount of food, and I think I was successful. <laughs> and I'm one of the people who regrets it the most. Can sure. we talk about the ambiance? Sure. Yeah. So Golden Corral has 12 foot tall ceilings, drop ceiling. Mm -hmm. Some of the drop ceiling is a little convex and some of it's a little concave, which is <laughs> unusual for drop ceiling. <laughs> They're just trying to keep you on your toes, Brandon. <laughs> the, the buffet, um, like where the food is lined up, feels like um, an amusement park. <laughs> they have like little sections for each food and they give it they give each of these sections a name like the yep. place where they have pizza has a name yeah. like the piazza or something yeah. yeah the salad bar was the greenhouse yeah and so they've like themed it mm -hmm. like yeah. but it but it feels like an artificial set they they name it they name it greenhouse because like um, sad zone doesn't have quite the same <laughs> ring to it. Well, sad zone applies too broadly. Like depression pit and sad zone and oh no, um, when you finish your meal, you can go over to the yikes section. Yeah, they, yeah, they have a, they give it different. And then we have to talk about the weather. Oh yeah, we had a big storm come through. It was a, true. There was a severe thunderstorm occurring while we were in the Golden Corral. Within the first five minutes of us sitting there, Lights flickered probably four or five times. Yeah. All of the lights turned off for about a half second before resuming. And that half second was the greatest moment of fear that I think any of us have ever had because that led us into the possibility that we would be stuck in a golden corral without power, which is the only thing worse than being stuck in a golden corral, period. <laughs> Okay, so the food. <laughs> I'm glad that we had to get that out of the way. <laughs> it was a very important part. We're, the ba we're gonna talk about the bathroom after the food. That is a that is a fun reveal. Sorry, we <laughs> you're gotta, eating we to, breakfast. We gotta, we, gotta keep, we gotta keep folks waiting for something. So you gotta stick around, everybody. You gotta stick around for the whole show. So let's talk about the food. So here's what I did. Um, the, the Golden Corral, I mean, I'm sure that they're different at different locations, but the location that we went to was, it was, it was a line. There's a long line. There's been other Golden Corrals that I've been to that have like, like island zones where it's, it's more like a, like a square, but this is all, this is all a line. So I decided to go all the way as, as rightmost as I could towards the dessert and just see what foods butted up against the dessert. Because I didn't want dessert, I didn't want to start with dessert. But I wanted to like see dessert and then like move backwards and see what was over there. And all of the food over there was fried. It was like fried chicken, fried fish, shrimp. fried shrimp. So that's what I started with. I started with fried food. There was potato wedges and french fries and whatever. So like all of these different fried foods, that was my first plate of food. And I came back to the table, and everyone had their plate, and everyone had done different things. And I started to eat it, and my first thought was, this is all right. Maybe we were worried for nothing. Like, nothing is, like, exceptionally good, but there's none of this that is bad. It's all, you know, it's fine. It's fine. So, um... I like that the music got screwed up because it was also indicative of like how the, the tables are turning in this store. I, I think I realized after that that the reason it was fine is because fried food tastes good. It is very <laughs> difficult to screw up fried food. If you eat like fried batter on anything, it's just good. Because every plate of food after that increased my level of disappointment. I also started out pretty strong. Yeah? And this is a, an opinion that not everyone shared, but I started with the sesame chicken and the foods around that, which included some fried rice, some bell peppers, some mushroom caps. Yes. And my sesame chicken was pretty good. Incredible. Which most people thought it tasted like a rock. I Incredible. Not... I so it. I picked the two good pieces of sesame chicken. I'd like to imagine that you got like 
the last in the dish that was good, and then they brought the bad dish in yeah. or something. Or maybe I picked from the top and like stuff from 10 a.m. that morning was at the bottom, and that's what y'all got. Possibly, yes. So, I that was my first plate of food, and I was pretty happy with it. Then I was like, all right, I'll go up and get a second one. At what point did you cry? <laughs> Everyone shed a little tear <laughs> at some point. So on my third plate of food, I was like desperately searching for something that had some kind of, that was good. <laughs> something that was good. Something that lived up to the expectations set by the first plate, which weren't very high to begin with, but the second plate was a real downer. <laughs> so I went up and towards the fried food section and saw they had pot roast. Ah, that's what and I'm like, oh my gosh, there's slow cooked pot roast. It's gonna be nice and juicy and they got some potatoes, so I'll get some of that. So I sit down at the table with my plate of pot roast and I take one bite of the pot roast and it's not only the driest piece of meat I've ever had in my life, but it was also sour. That, the lightning, the bathroom that we'll talk about in a second. I just started crying. <laughs> He was moved by the spirit because it was such a good birthday. Uh, yeah. I just, like, I knew it was, it had the potential to be bad, right? Mm -hmm. But so much of the food was not fresh. So much, of, so much of it was out of a can. So much of it, I mean, there are several of us who are actively sick or were sick last night because of what we consumed so yesterday. Dan wanted to go vacation with his family today and canceled his flight because he's so sick. Wait, what? Did you not see that in the <laughs> no, group chat? No, I haven't checked chat. Oh my God. <laughs> Dan threw up this morning, so he didn't go to the, to the airport. <laughs> Alex's dessert was okay, except that celery bear. <laughs> I did not know that. <laughs> that is new information for me. Oh no, okay. Now listen, I don't know that I am to blame for Dan not spending time with <laughs> Dan. That's Hello. why Dan's here this morning. I, d I didn't even register that. Like I knew subconsciously that Dan like had to go to the airport, but then I saw, I d mm, mm. Hey Dan. Sorry. So in levels of regret, Dan is the highest level of regret and then me. And then it's hard to say which of the four of you. And then it starts to get... So I don't have a lot of regret because it all went about as well as I expected. My expectations were set pretty firmly at a very, a very specific zone. It's like you'd been there before. I've been there a lot. That was the worst experience. <laughs> I've been there a lot. So the thing is, I, I set my expectations pretty firmly and then I feel like I did a adequate job of expressing that to everyone else that it would probably not be good so i don't think anyone was going to be like completely caught off guard let me take a brief moment to to read these alerts so we're not waiting on these but i have so much more to say we have 59 months from jcjx 22 from shadowplay 626 an anonymous gifter gifted a sub to nightbot 14 months from neon curbs and a subscription from miss bolin welcome welcome As a brief aside, um, there was a K&W, this is a great song, as a brief aside, there was a K&W that was in uh, Myrtle Beach for many, many years, and when my grandparents would, my, on, my, on my dad's side, would come to visit, we would go to the K&W every night. Every night we went to the K&W because they were from a, a small town in West Virginia that didn't really have restaurants. So that what they wanted is they wanted to go to the K&W where they could pick out their food. And I think we, Brandon needs support, Kepler. And we went to the K&W every night that they would visit. And at some point, Myrtle Beach got a golden corral and uh, the K&W closed down. And then we started to go to the golden corral every night. So there were periods in my life where I would eat golden corral every night for a week. Like once a year, there was a week of my life where I would eat Golden Corral every night for a week. And I Sorry. I hate to Video say that. King's comment. I hate to say that um, out loud because it hurts a little bit, but it's 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 fine. Um, so I have some experience with the Golden Corral. This Golden Corral was w worse. <laughs> 
<laughs> We're not even to the best part. It was worse. Um, oh, another fun thing. To greatly increase my personal chance of foodborne illness, I made sure to eat as many things on the menu as I could humanly eat. In fact, I got little tiny portions of everything. So my plate was always just like small- A single shrimp. A single a shrimp. A single French fry. A single fry. French fry. Yeah. Um, just to make sure that I got a chance to try all of the things. It also means that later, things could be bad for me. We'll find out. See, um, we took opposite strategies and I feel sick. Yeah, and Dan puked. I actually feel good. From a Alex says this Golden Corral was not just the worst Golden Corral; it's the worst restaurant I've ever been to. Ah, that award would still go to the, the K and W. You I, Alex no, you. the K and W was worse, but also the Steak and Shake that I ate. Oh, with yeah. the Runaway guys. With the Runaway guys is still the worst restaurant experience I've ever had. What about that TGI Fridays? Uh, there's a lot of places when I've visited mm. a meal that I've eaten that have been amongst the worst places I've ever eaten in my life. Um, it's actually kind of scary. Anyway, um, so uh, we, we, we ate food. I got a chance to try a lot of different things. Try. I had three. You, you did steer clear of the salad bar. I think I all of us knew that that was well, I will. Well, I will tell you something about myself. I know that me and me and lettuce just don't mix very well. Anytime, oh, okay. anytime I eat like lettuce... Like good lettuce and you don't... Yeah, me and good lettuce are often not doing well. So me and Golden Corral lettuce, it was not going to work. Yeah, so the, the problem is that you want to get... Like, I want to eat, eat corn. <laughs> yeah, you want to eat the food that is turning over frequently and already at Golden Corral the salad is not turning over frequently. Mm -hmm. And then it's salad, ain't, it's lettuce. People which ain't has, at the Golden Corral to eat a salad. Right, right. Yeah. So nothing the, was turning over fast at that restaurant. That's it's true. Yeah, that's very it's true. Also true. We we did go on Monday, which is the slowest night for restaurants. We went during <laughs> like the dinner rush, but it but was But there was a storm. So Yeah, no one, so no one, no was, one there. was there. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I uh, I had three entire plates of food. Like I filled my plate every time I tried to. Tried as many things as possible. I ate no less than 50 different menu items. Um, and then I had a, a bowl of fruit because I went to the, the salad bar and just got some of the different fruits and tried those. And then I had a plate of different dessert foods. So in total, I probably tried between like 50 and 60 different things. Yeah. Um, Alex, did you notice that was completely fenced in? <laughs> we, we could all move there. Um, there was a motel across from the Golden Corral. One of the things I then asked everyone is I wanted to know what the best items were and the worst items were, like what everyone's opinions were. Um, and there was some consensus. Me and Dan had, me and Dan agreed. <laughs> me, and, me and Dan agreed that the tacos were the, the best thing that we had. The banana pudding was good. That's good. The churro was the worst thing I ate. The churro was hilarious. It was confusing. You just ate it and nothing happened. <laughs> <laughs> like it felt like fried they, they, cardboard. Yeah, like deep they, fried cardboard. They, there was nothing in the like in it. Like yeah. it, you were just it, eating the fried outside, and the fried outside wasn't seasoned with anything. So it was just like, yes, truly empty calories, lost vagabond. It was, yeah, it was a sad thing because when I so saw sad. it, when I saw it, I was like, oh, this will be interesting. And then before I had it in my mouth. Everyone else at the table who had had one was like staring at me, like, "Try it," and I was like, "Well, that's not a good sign." Well, it yeah, was, it at had, least it wasn't bad. It, it just wasn't <clears throat> anything. Oh, I think it, it was, was the worst. It was bad in that it was nothing. When that, you when you <laughs> bite a churro, that was the worst thing on the you menu expect for me. cinnamon, mm -hmm. and there was just nothing. Yeah. It tasted it, like nothing. It missed expectations, but it didn't deliver expectations you weren't expecting. <laughs> it's fair. So that's a win in the Golden Corral book. The 
the taco meat was like just flavored really well cuz I made yeah. it I made surprisingly. it surprisingly I made a taco and I put refried beans which I am going to be sick today for sure because of that refried beans among and, other things and and taco meat in it and some cheese and uh, that was actually the best tasting thing. Haley pointed out that a lot of the fried stuff was good. It was. I don't know that it was like exceptionally good, but like in in the realm of the Golden Corral, that was definitely the best stuff probably to get consistently. Like the fried chicken leg that I had was good. The fried fish I had was good. The fried shrimp I had was good. I would get those things. If I had to be forced at gunpoint to return to a Golden Corral, I would fill my I'd, plate. I'd take the bullet. <laughs> I, I would fill my plate with those items. Um, the worst thing I had at the Golden Corral, which should come as no surprise in retrospect because it was also visually the least appealing thing, but I still got it, was the pizza. When I, when I went to get the pizza, the pizza looked as if it had sat there for several days. I know that that's not it true. It looks like Japanese fake food. It d yeah, yeah, it doesn't even look real. Like when you go to the furniture store and they put like display plastic pizza, that's, that's what you ate. It does look like that. And I, I felt it looked sad, but I felt a little hopeful because I mean, as Why? Brandon pointed, as Brandon pointed out at the beginning, the, there were named sections. I was in, I was in the the, the pizza, <laughs> the, piazza. the piazza. I had went to a special location just to acquire this dish. The first bite was the saddest thing I've ever put into my mouth, and realizing that there was more pizza in my hand was the like the most depressing feeling I've ever had. So I. I elected not to eat it because I could put two and two together. But from what I saw, <laughs> the crust, not crispy. What no, else was wrong with No, that? no, no, not way. at all. So oh. like just mm. soft. Just yeah, like, yeah. like this motion, it just mm, is the best way I can describe like you the crust. You didn't need teeth to chew up the crust. Absolutely not. You that, could just like move it up and down in your you mouth could and have, it would disintegrate. You could have gummed the hell out of that pizza. Okay, how yes. was the cheese? The cheese was bad. Okay. The sauce was worse. Oh no. I got a I got a chance to have a double dipping of the sauce because alongside my pizza since I had went to the piazza oh, was God, right. spaghetti. God. I yeah. was the only one of the six of us that chose Try to put you had, a, spaghetti. you had a half plate of spaghetti. <laughs> Here's the thing. I had been put like I had a single french fry. <laughs> But when I went to try and get spaghetti, I tried. They had the little strainer, and I tried so hard to get a little spaghetti. Just a little bit. I couldn't do it. It just kept, it was like clump, and I was like, no, 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 no. And it was like clump, and you I was mean, like, I can't. Do you can't. mean like the noodles were like adhered together? Yes. It was mm, impossible okay. to get just a little spaghetti. Okay. So I had to just commit after like the fourth yep. time and the guy behind me is like getting ready for his own spaghetti adventure. I was like, all right. Mm, you didn't want to start a fight over the spaghetti. I We've seen so many fight videos in Golden Corrals. It's not worth it. So I, I decided to commit to the clump. And after I clumped, I needed a fair bit of sauce to put on that. And I got to tell you, that was the worst spaghetti and the worst spaghetti sauce I've ever had. Yeah. It wasn't even close. The spaghetti, the spaghetti was so bad, it was terrifying. And that was what I ate right after the pizza, so it was just like the one-two punch. It was That um, was plate two? That was in my second plate, yes. Yeah, plate two was a real downer. <laughs> yeah, it was not a good it was not a good time. Um Dan Dan had said that he was excited to try the macaroni, and then once he <laughs> tried the macaroni, he was like, oh, I'm no longer excited to try the macaroni. Mm. And I tried the macaroni, and while I agree with his statement, I had also had macaroni at K&W. And man, just to put into perspective how bad the macaroni is at K&W, the macaroni at Golden Corral is like, up here, is so much better. So Brandon, next year, are we going to K&W for your birthday? No. We don't do buffets. KW's not a buffet, it's cafeteria. It is. That's, it's cafeteria? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you don't even get infinite amounts of bad food? No. And 
as a little aside for when Alex and I went to K&W, we had had this conversation, me and him at the table, about, like, the food. And Alex, Alex was pretty happy with what he ate, which was wild to me. My food was terrible. And uh, after I ate it, he was like, well, you know, it is, it is cheaper to eat here. And I said, Alex, no, it wasn't. It was $15. And he was like... It was 50. I was like, correct. This this was an astronomical amount of money to to eat g garbage. I will never go back to K and W. I, I've learned my lesson fully. The nostalgia, I think, is is over for that. But like, um, how about for Golden Corral? Gunpoint. Like if Gunpoint, gunpoint was okay. involved. So so the same. <laughs> The sesame chicken, I was really, it was really peculiar that, that Brandon ended up enjoying it and why I think he got a different tray of food. Yeah, I had because to. Because several other of us had sesame chicken and it was one of the worst things that yeah. I ate that night because it was hard as a rock. Yeah, that is not my experience. Maybe it was like stuck to the bottom of the dish and like the heating element cooked it more rather than keeping it warm or something. <laughs> I have no idea. It was, it was, uh, on that Mal, one was bad. On, on Mal's <clears throat> first plate of food, she had a baked potato. And then 10 or oh, 15 yeah. minutes later, Dan, Dan was, was like, like, Mal, where'd you get the baked potato? <laughs> and, and, and I Mal just was looked like, at Dan and I <laughs> shook my head no. We haven't, we haven't talked bathroom yet. We're almost there. Yeah, that was one of my favorite moments was when Dan excitedly was like, where'd you get the baked potato? And Mal just went. But you were, you when you had opened it and started eating it, you were like, this is the worst potato I've ever had. And I was like, oh no. Also, it's a potato. Like, how do you mess up a baked potato? That was my thought. I was like, it's a potato. <sighs> we had 18 months from Over Archiver, three and a bits from the Slick Duke, who says, so is the moral of this Golden Corral epic uh, to not go to any restaurant Steven really wants to go to? Uh, I have good taste, but I will selectively choose bad things sometimes for the novelty. Like, there was no part of me that was surprised by Golden Corral last night. Not at all. I was not surprised. Oh, there was a surprise. There was a surprise. <laughs> there is a surprise. There's one. Su I was surprised by one thing. <laughs> Haven't revealed I, that yet. Yeah, Give me a second. Yeah. But other for the food, I was not surprised by the food. Uh, that was that was exactly about as I expected. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I sometimes I'll selectively do things for the novelty. And like Haley pointed out, that it was really like a like a team building thing. Like we all feel like closer because we went through uh, a difficult time together. And I think that it it brought us brought us all together. And that's good. That's a good thing. Three for Mr. Viper Fang says, so this this sound represents the pizza you had. And it was the mummy sound. Yeah. <laughs> worse than that. Worse than that. Yeah. Much worse than that. It was it was pretty bad. You actively put everyone in a difficult time. I mean, I was very forthright at the beginning about like what the experience would be like. I did not sugarcoat it. You keep saying it. that, and that's false. <laughs> that's... Do you really feel like that was false? I felt like my expectations were much higher. Oh. Renee wants to know if you feel closer to Steven now. Knowing that he tried to murder me? I don't know. <laughs> I think that it builds camaraderie. Oh, I mean, yes. I, I, I'm glad that we did this together. I'm glad that you didn't, <laughs> like, give me a off. personal recommendation for like, Golden Like, I give Corral. you, like, a bus ticket and, like, <laughs> go eat at the Golden Corral. <laughs> yeah. But but Steve, the one of the things that Steven said before we left is, like, maybe this will be a really great Golden Corral. Golden Corral was founded here. The in, reviews are good. In fairness... It has, like, even, a 4.1 star, doesn't in, it? Yes, in Which fairness, even, too high. even I started to be sucked in by some of the review stuff. Because yeah. Haley was talking about some of the reviews, and I was like, well, maybe this will be okay. Maybe this will we be all, good. We all left with the feeling that this might be a good experience. We were we were wrong. But it was worth, <laughs> it was worth having faith um, about it. Also, 39 months from SaveFrog33. Thank you. All right, so now that we've talked about the, uh, the the ambiance and the food, I think it's time to add one more piece of this fun puzzle. 
Oh, what a good time. Oh, what a good time. I'm so glad you're here. Oh, your raid message is terrifyingly appropriate. Hi, Tom. Good Hi, Tom. morning. Why are you awake? Did you stay up all night yeah, playing Tom, video games? Yeah, Tom, why are you awake? I don't know. Oh, raiders, you you have... You you have missed some of this story, but not all of it. Oh, the Pokemon Direct. Uh, there was a Pokemon Direct. Mm, okay. Ah. I hope you enjoyed your Pokemon Direct. We're talking um, about Golden Corral. If you're eating, consider stop eating. <laughs> we've we we we've we've just we've just spoken um, at length. Tom for, knows what for, the surprise is. Tom, don't give away the surprise. We've just we've just spoke at length for forty minutes about our experience going to Golden Corral. Uh, most of us first time in like ten years. And Brandon, for the first time ever, first and last. This is this is a wonderful stream, and if you if you if you were at the Pokemon Direct, I would highly recommend the VOD. It's a great experience. So anyway, we've talked about the we've talked about the ambiance. We've talked about the food, what we liked, what we didn't like. There was a lot of not liking things, but at some point, I had to go to the bathroom, and Alex had gotten up right before me. So Alex had went into the bathroom, and then a minute later, or so I, I walked into the bathroom. <laughs> Brandon was the first one into the bathroom. So we we got our drinks, and yeah. then we sat down, and everyone went to go get a plate. And the first place I went was the restroom. Oh, <laughs> fun. So you just kept this little tidbit. I wanted everyone to discover on their own. So Alex, Alex later in the meal, Alex went to the bathroom, and I got up shortly after him and went when in. When Alex walked out of the bathroom, he looked at Brandon, and they just laughed. Alex and I locked eyes for a solid second and a half and just burst out laughing. When when I when I got into the bathroom, Alex Alex was like, Coming, coming out, and uh, like up, going up and washing his hands, and uh, he said, and and I, I looked into the bathroom, and he said, "Man, <laughs> you know, as part of the reviews, a lot of people complained about the bathrooms," and I was like, "Yeah," and he's like, "Everyone seemed to really like the food at the Golden Corral, but there were several reviews that mentioned the bathroom." And as he's saying this, I'm looking at the bathroom, at a very particular spot in the bathroom. And then he finishes washing his hands and turns and looks at me and looks at the spot with me and said, now just so I'm not mistaken, that is human feces, right? And I was looking at it and I got I got just a little closer to try and get a better view, and I said, yep, that's what that is. And he goes, right on. <laughs> and then we left. Um, so that was just a fun little little nugget of, yeah, um, yeah. of extra fun for last night's it's, experience. It, it was almost high art. Like, it took a lot of talent to to lay that log in the place that it was laid. It was in the center of the bathroom. This was not a single stall situation. This was nope, a... It's just there. Multi, it was a, big, a fairly big bathroom with multiple stalls and multiple urinals. And right in the dead center was a... a... present. <laughs> that was... Anyway, uh, fairly sizable. Using, it was in the center, but it was at a choke point. So everyone has to step over Correct. to get to any usable stall or urine. Correct. Yeah. Hmm. My favorite part of this is that it's not that we saw that and then we were like, ah, the end of the meal is here. It was like, ah, and now dessert, uh, because that's where that took place. Again, that was the beginning of my Golden Corral experience. Do you need to cry? Do you need a hug? <laughs> I need talk therapy. Okay. Woo! We can do that after. Woo! I, um... Brand Soft serve is right. Brandon, I'm so glad that you had a great birthday. Two, On Sunday. <laughs> two, two great birthday days. Two great mm -hmm. birthday days. Yeah, sure. I think that we're all closer. Um, oh, as one final, as one final thing, one final little tidbit, because this is great. Josh has been out of town. Josh uh, and Rebecca were um, in Atlanta to do uh, a 
charity event. They were doing a charity event with Zelda Universe. And his plan had been to be back in time to join us for the Golden Corral. And they got held up a little bit. By the storm. The same By the storm, storm. That, that was impacting us while we were eating there. And uh, I was like, I was like, you know, <laughs> do you think you're going to make it? And he's like, honestly, he's like, no. And he's, he's like, it's okay. It's Golden Corral. And I was like, okay. And now I'm, I'm thinking, man, Josh really missed out on an extremely interesting experience. I mean, several of us, I, I feel kind of bad for everyone because several of us have woken up today feeling ill. I Again, did not know that Dan missed his flight. Yeah, yeah, that, that was new, and I was so, like, oh so my god. For for Tom Fox people who came in late, Dan planned to go with his to be with his family today in Florida, so he had a flight to catch this morning and canceled his flight because he was so sick from going to this Golden Corral with us. So now, like, I'm gonna go home and, like, have to nurse Dan back to health. Josh and I are gonna have to, like, take shifts answering the bell ring. Jess <laughs> said, Brandon, did you get the vanilla and chocolate pudding? I did no pudding. No pudding. There was only banana pudding. Man. Anyway. Golden Corral ruins families. Yeah. <laughs> I think it made our family tighter. Yeah. I feel like I'm so much closer to everyone after having experienced that. I, I feel a little bad because from like a digestive perspective, I'm going to make it out, you know, at the other end of this. And I'm just not sure that everyone here will. <laughs> I, we'll see. We'll see how I do. Like the, the, the thing is, I am always messed up. It is very possible for me to be more messed up than usual. Like that's a real thing. But my... You know, my normal state is already not great, so sometimes things that bother people in a big way end up not bothering me in a huge way. So, um, I might be fine. We'll find out. I ate like 60 menu items yesterday. But my favorite one was this one. The last word in disgusted food, Tiny Andy's teriyaki and zesty avocado and pancake sauce. Just drank up that sauce. That was a bit from Gold Lightning. says, Tiny Eddie, what do they have at Golden Corral? Honestly, that doesn't sound that bad. Teriyaki and zesty avocado and pancake sauce. Is it sauce for pancake? It's sauce for pancake. Oh, I, th I, I read it as they took a pancake and pureed it, and then they added teriyaki and zesty avocado. Or is it teriyaki and zesty sauce that is used exclusively for avocados and pancakes? Hmm. You can decide. That's a decision that, that you at home make. I need to reference what happened, because Tom said it. Oh. But first, but first Snack this. like a foggy horse with Tiny Eddie's fanciful tangy swirls. <laughs> that was a bit some Full Mother Grizz. It says, after that questionable experience, y'all deserve to get some quality food to make up for it. Tiny Eddie, what you got? Ah, uh, fanciful tangy swirls. Also, I just love the, t the phrase foggy horse. <laughs> You'll never catch me in my fanciful tangy swirls. And it cuts too deep. No one's going to understand that. What were you saying? Um, I had texted Tom from my watch because he closed all three rings. Yes. And I said, Golden Crow was real bad. And I said, I'm nauseous. And he said, I've been to one once, and that was one too many times. It was like a buffet inside a giant men's restroom. <laughs> yeah. So then I told him about the bathroom surprise. <laughs> 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 and he said... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, indeed. Sorry, the context for this, the context for this is that in our group chat, we have a group chat for the Raleigh Collective, and uh, we were talking to Jepson, and, and we were like, are you going to make it home? And he's like, or make it to the Golden Crown? And he's like, no. He's like, honestly, he's like, I got it. He's like, I got to get home. He's like, I need to take uh, a shower. And he's like, I really need to take a crap. And I told him, I said, if you need a crap, you should have been in the Golden Corral, where one was conveniently placed on the floor in the center of the room. But before Tom knew that, Tom was like, Golden Corral is a buffet inside of a men's restroom. I love that Tom said that and didn't even know. Woo! I've had a wonderful... Oh, we totally forgot that all of Wonderful uh, Morning. Talk about it later. <laughs> Assault your hunger with Tiny Eddie's coffee-dusted taxi driver crisps. 
Oh, I love coffee dusted. That's a good flavor. From the leaf, Tiny Eddie, can you give chat a remedial snack from the whiplash of that Golden Corral? Coffee dusted taxi driver crisps. We took taxi drivers, we crisped them. And we dusted them with powdered coffee. So what I imagine this is, is you're, you, you climb into a cab in New York City. Mm -hmm. There is a, a, a man in the front, he's, he's 57 years old. He's been doing this for over 30 years. He makes instant coffee from a pack. Mm -hmm. He does this so often throughout the entirety of the day that the car is literally filled with the dust of that instant coffee. Mm -hmm. He has also on him, uh, on his uh, passenger side, an open bag of wavy Lay's potato chips and has made so many coffees that they are dusted and he offers you one. And then he takes off his mask and it's Tiny Eddie. That's... And it's snack of the year. It's, it's the best thing you've ever had. 39 months from Caruso. Somber Mink gifted a sub to Tom Fox. And three to bits from Will Peters who says, this makes the Riff Tracks joke, Golden Corral's new slogan, more potent. When we got home, we wanted to watch commercials for Golden Corral. Mm -hmm. And we watched a few. And it very quick, like the algorithm for YouTube was like, yeah, Golden Corral commercial, Golden Corral commercial, Golden Corral commercial a fight in a Golden Corral. Golden Corral commercial. And we were like, wait, what? So then we started scrolling and like, that's all it, it gave us. It was like, in another fight in a Golden Corral. Here's a second, here's another fight in a Golden Corral. And we were like, oh. So we watched a lot of those. We didn't even mention Jennifer. <laughs> there was, there was there was interesting wall art. Uh, um, <laughs> amongst amongst the wall art was a giant uh, recipe for the carrot cake. Yeah. Uh, carrot cake was Brandon's favorite thing. Yeah, that was the best dish. The best thing that Brandon had there was the carrot cake, and apparently that must be a good carrot cake because if people are asking about it, they can just point them to the giant recipe that's mounted on the wall. Next to that, also in an equally large, probably like five foot tall display, is. Um, two people uh, that are dining in a golden corral. And their names are labeled at the bottom, Jennifer and Kyle. And they, they're they are sitting very, very close together across the table from each other with their faces close, but they are looking at you. And they are looking at you with bedroom eyes. Mm -hmm. And you feel very strongly but, that you're being propositioned by Jennifer and <laughs> Kyle from inside the golden corral. But they're corral. holding a fork and a knife and like cutting at some dish while looking at you with the bedroom eyes. Well, it's not very safe to <laughs> not look where you're cutting with a knife. It's a mixed message to say the least. Chess found it. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm so glad you found that. I can't believe it. We saw that and we were like, what is that? We What's sure going they, on? <laughs> we weren't sure if they wanted our body or our blood. <laughs> Also, my favorite part of this is that when I started speaking about that, Chaz had to have been trying to find that and found it, and I'm just impressed. <laughs> He's just rapidly Googling Golden Corral bedroom eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby, you're giving me them Golden Corral bedroom eyes, aren't you? <laughs> my wife and I saw you from across the Golden Corral. <laughs> So many images of this. Because it's so disconcerting. Any Whoa. human who's seen this will comment on it. Oh, like they seem nice. They seem nice. Um, I don't know that I want to be particularly propositioned at the Golden Corral. But to each I'll their own. I'll take up a proposition if it means I can leave. <laughs> Haley says, for me, this was the worst part. It was in front yeah, of me. Fortunately, my back the was Three of us <laughs> were facing the other way. Yeah. So Haley, oh, Alex, and Dan had to look at Yeah, not God. only did Haley, Alex, and Dan get Jennifer and Kyle staring them down the whole meal, but they also saw like the terrifying severe thunderstorm occurring. Yeah. The flashes of lightning, that one guy in his underwear <laughs> watching us from the, ho the motel room. God. I don't trust anyone who cruises for a third cold <laughs> Oh God! Oh Lord, where am I? All right, three hundred from Shy. Who said? <laughs> three hundred from Shy. Is Steven doing his best impression of an anime character? You can't poison a man already riddled with toxins. 
Don't question the science of it. Just suspend your disbelief. I may be fine. That's the thing. We don't know yet. I will. I'll. I'll be glad to inform everyone on Thursday's breakfast stream. But I have a, right now, like for how bad some of our other people have felt, I have not felt bad. So I'm like, I'm. I'm surviving. Haley, Haley, we had so much fun, and I can't believe no one wants to go back. But think about how much fun we had on Sunday, and how we don't. Sunday we're not was actively a, sick. I'm I think really I glad had, we had Sunday. To, I had equal amounts of fun. It was such a on both days. whiplash between Sunday's birthday and Monday's yeah. birthday. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a fun thing. Bobby Bits from Adrian says, I've never been so happy Disco Only was delayed out of last week because it means Golden Corral can come up on Disco Only. I... I someone can do it. I won't be at Disco Only tonight. I have prior engagements, but don't worry. We had someone um, replace me and they are um, qualified for the job. It's a high bar. John was like, we could reschedule. And I was like, don't do that, please. Just <laughs> just do the show. <laughs> just do the show. Because if we reschedule, then I have to do the show next week. And I don't want to do that. I just want the show to be done with. I'll worry about the show in September. So there's another person going to be on the show. I'm sure they'll be great. Golden Corral was a good reminder of the fact that we're all getting older. And that's really what it was all about. That's really what a birthday is about. It was a about. celebration of life and your eventual march towards death. Yeah. And increasing the speed of that march by going to a Golden mm -hmm. Corral. But I think that everyone who had childhood Golden Corral experiences had better experiences than, than what they had yesterday. So we kind of like killed the nostalgia off a little bit and reminded everyone that we're an adult and we have to pay taxes. And we suffer yeah. the consequences of our food choices more than we did when we were kids. And how much Golden Corral actually costs. What? In yeah. a few aspects. That's... Yeah. Like the, the cost, but also the later cost. It is, it is $17. It is $17 plus tax to eat at the Golden Corral like buffet. Mm -hmm. And like... It's not, it's not worth it. I mean, I guess if you, like the fried chicken was pretty good, right? But like, there's cheaper. You can go to Bojangles. Yeah. There's cheaper ways to get fried chicken. So I'm like, I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't feel particularly worth it to me. Um, we we had a discussion about how in the year 2023, the idea of the buffet is largely dead, mm -hmm. with the exception possibly of very very focused buffets. Like if you went to. An Indian. an Indian buffet, or maybe like a Chinese buffet, or something like that. But to do everything, to do all of it, there's, there's, I mean, even looking past like some of the food safety concerns, you're gonna run into mediocre food. Yeah. Like it's just gonna happen. You can't make all of those things good. Oh, you want to know one of the 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 weirdest disappointments of last night was the rolls, the the bread rolls. I skipped those. Me too. It was a good. It was a good call. It was. It was so hard to chew. It was terrible. I feel like for any food item we've brought up, I could have said I skipped those, and you would have said good call. Good call. Good call. I yes, because she said she says how do you have disappointing bread? They did it. That's that. W they they used to bring like a like a basket of that to the table. Like that was the one thing that they were confident on. Like you're gonna eat these and they're gonna be good. You have to go out of your way now to get them. They're over by the dessert. And I had one and I was like, I, I couldn't finish it. I took like two bites and I was like really chewing and I was like, it's too much. I've been to good buffets before. I've been to good casino buffets. I've been to a Pizza Hut buffet. Yep. I've been to Asian fusion buffets. This is the most disappointing buffet I've ever been to. I know an Indian tracks. buffet we need to go to. Yeah. We threw into uh, bits from Rearward Drake says, so it's my birthday today. Happy birthday. But last year we did go to a Golden Corral unironically, mind you. The only thing I remember was the fried chicken I ate and that it's a buffet style place. So we have completely different experiences. So the Golden Corral in, in Myrtle Beach. I mean, you haven't been since like 2019. I haven't been in a long time. And also the, the nostalgia of it and also like the rose colored glasses of childhood or whatever may be coloring it, but I really genuinely feel like it was a better experience than the one we went to yesterday. It was. Last like, time we were there, yes. Like Pre-pandemic. It, like, 
it didn't feel sad. This one felt sad. It was very sad. It so to tears. your mileage may vary, and if you have a like legitimately good golden corral, then I savor it because you can get all of the different menu items, and that's neat. We watched a bunch of commercials uh, last night that featured Jeff Foxworthy being like shot out of a cannon. Sorry, um, and you know, talking up the food, and I was like, this seems like a golden era of golden corral. It's like mid two thousands. I have breaking news. We have another casualty from Golden Corral. Alex is now feeling not great. Oh no. <laughs> it's it's time for the morning stand up and I'm not done processing my Golden Corral trauma yet. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. We had 100 bits from Painful Average. Thank you. I'm hanging in there. <sighs> Jeff Foxworthy is dead. Tired of expensive buffets. Uh, so anyway, um, let's use this opportunity to talk about something other than Golden Corral. Since we have, we've spent exactly one hour talking about it, I think we got it all out. And um, Some of us are actively working on getting it all out. Some of us will be dealing with that later. So things that are happening today. Um, there is, oh God, what is this, what is happening? What is coming? This is to sing about it. This is the Golden Corral Doctor. Okay, can we do three? Will that no, work? Okay. Golden Corral is a place. You can eat. <laughs> it's called that eating. It can't be beat. <laughs> Smells like feet. <laughs> There's poop on the floor. <laughs> Golden Corral, you can get a to-go plate and they weigh it. <laughs> yeah, they have, uh, what is it called? Like Pay by the pound. Well, it, it was something, it was like pay and weigh. Yeah. <laughs> and so you can grab food on the go and they have like a scale. It's very like elaborate. They have an, an analog scale and you put your food on that and they, they're like three pounds, that'll be $40. They weigh the food, the to-go food that you take. I did, I did, while I was up there getting food, I did watch a man with a container like weighing his options of like which, what he wanted to put in there. Um, God, I have never even talked about the chicken wings. They have four wings. On the marquee outside, they were like, we got chicken wings, all you can eat, come on in and try them. That's what it said when we drove in. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, well, I'm going to try one of each chicken wing. And mm -hmm. that was just, I actually could not physically eat the, the garlic Parmesan wing. Oh. Like I started to eat it and I, I ate everything, but yeah. like I, I, I took a bite of that and it was like, I cannot physically eat this. This is terrifying. The buffalo one was fine. The barbecue one was fine. Barbecue, the buffalo one was cold, but but the garlic parmesan, something was wrong. Anyway, that was five thousand bits from that tall nerd who says the best way to process trauma and foodborne illness is to sing about it. Says the Golden Corral doctor. Thank you, tall nerd. Um, so give me the bird today at uh, one p.m. Eastern. That's in three hours from now. Mal and I will be here on the couch, not to talk to you about a restaurant, but to um, create wonderful memories that don't involve any creatures dying in the world of Pikmin 4. We stream Pikmin 4 on Tuesdays at one now. So please join us in three hours for Pikmin. It'll be great. I can't wait. And then tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern, this is a Wednesday thing, so you gotta, gotta like, remember. Tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern, Mao is streaming. Mm -hmm. And our plan right now, knock on wood, is for you to be in the studio. Mm -hmm. The studio is like mostly set up. I have some tech stuff to get in, to get finished in there. But the student, assuming that I get that done, uh, Mao will be in the studio tomorrow night. And I'm thrilled. I'm super excited. And I know you are too, because you've haven't been able to have a chance to sit at like your easel and paint in a bit. Yeah. So Mal's excited too. 
So yeah, I'm super excited about all that. 500 Bits from Shy says, you can never truly rid yourself of the Golden Corral. It's like radiation. It has a half-life after so much time passes and never fully disappears once you have it. I mean, it's a memory that we're definitely going to keep with us for yeah. a, a long time. And the takeaway was like, if I had to eat there again, like I could do it. I would just not do the thing I did and try all of the menu items. Like I would, I would just eat fried chicken. I'd eat fried chicken and have some shrimp. I'll and, wait in the car. And you would wait in the car. Yeah. 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 Anyway, <laughs> Three from Collins says, how much did you film for the vlog? Is this going to be a half an hour vlog of the Golden Corral experience? I mean, I showed my plate and you we showed had all a, of them, all three. Right? I showed all of my plates, everything I ate, and then also, um, and I don't know how much of that's going to be usable because they were blaring music right above the table, and I'm like, we'll see what if I can fix that. Um, but we do talk extensively about Golden Corral when we got home. Mm -hmm. That was the other thing is that Mal also made a cake. Yes. Because Mal made a cake for Brandon's birthday, a caramel cake. So we went and like gorged ourselves on food that was good. And then we all cried on the couch. Then we came home and honest to God, we came home and we just sat. We needed like an hour plus. Yeah. The funniest thing was that there was a there was a moment where, where we thought maybe Josh was gonna come over for cake. Yeah. Because he he missed Golden Crow, but I was like, oh he'll he'll be able to have time to come have cake. And we got home and like we sat on the couch. We didn't turn on the TV. We didn't do any of that like we just sat on the couch and for 20 minutes, there people weren't even talking. Everyone was just kind of staring into space and sighing. It was a very, it was sad. It was a sad thing. Yeah. And then eventually we, we started watching Golden Corral commercials. And then after about an hour, we, we had worked up the ability to try and consume cake. And I had felt better at that point. And the minute I got halfway through the cake, I was like, what have I done? Why did I put cake in on top of this? It was and a good I, cake. It was, it a was very good cake. cake. I liked it. It was good cake. So yeah, there's there's some there's some footage. Uh, 45 months from Epic DXX and 100 bits from Yo Schiller. Hey, Yo Schiller. Uh, and that's it. I'm really glad that we had a special memory. <laughs> we did. That we have a collective special memory that's kind of pseudo in my honor. I'm sorry to everyone who lives with us that I'm kind of the reason that we went. We'll never go again. The minute one of us is like, what if we went back to Golden Corral? We all need to take turns slapping that person because they forgot what happened. I like that Haley's takeaway is, I love spending time with my friends. That was my that was my main yeah. motivation, you know? It was to be spend time with my friends and everyone here made my birthday a very special experience. Well, good. Haley says, what if we went back to Golden Crown? Everyone get out your slapping gloves. It's the only way. But what about the old country buffet? Do you like hot fudge sundaes? Do you like hot fudge sundaes? All right. You see the big game? <laughs> Have you tried the lasagna? It's my favorite. Ham, please. All right. Okay, we're done here. Uh, thank you all so much for being here this morning. And, and, and Brandon, thank you specifically for for being here for this specific breakfast stream. Because it's... I, I feel like I had to be here for this. You sure you don't need a hug? I need a lot. <laughs> we have to do another group therapy session with the entire collective. I'm glad that we had a real birthday day. Yeah. Me too. Sometimes you need contrast. Right? Doesn't your doesn't Sunday feel so good knowing what it could have been? Yeah. There you go. I think that that's a valid thing. Sometimes in life you got to do a thing that's like you got to put yourself back in context yeah. for like the the joys of life that you experience. It's true. By experiencing it's completely measured true. hardship. Uh, I'm sorry again to all of our friends that have digestive problems right now. It's not your fault. Yeah. I mean, it kind of <laughs> is. You can't but... put this on you. No, no. We, we, we all collectively bear the burden of uh, <laughs> Bourbon Street Chicken at, at Golden Corral. 
and we'll see what happens. All right, that is it for today. Uh, thank you all, and be sure to join us in about three hours, 1 p.m. Eastern, for Pikmin 4 with me and Mao.